for a boat. Oh, look down there. You can see like a bar or something. I don't think I've been on a sinking boat before. Look at the elevator there. Campfire, abandoned stuff, and random guy that keeps staring at me. Yeah, the price is looking 2004. Look at this. <laughs> Left to die. Good morning. Good sunny morning from Athens in Greece. Today we're going to go on an Olympic journey. Cast your minds back 20 years ago where the government spent billions of euros on forming a nice Olympic venue for all the tourists to visit. A few years later it fell into disrepair and you found a lot of abandoned stadiums. 20 years later, can we find any today? Are they still standing? Are they in for redevelopment? And do they have new facilities? Or are they left to rot for eternity? So join me on an adventure. We're gonna go check out some abandoned buildings and see what we can find left from the 2004 Olympics in Athens. Let's go. So right behind me there, you can see a stadium. Uh, that's the one we're going to right now. I think it was for the volleyball, I'm not sure. But I just found this cool boat. Check it out. So it's not just the uh, building, uh, it's the boats as well. Have a look at this. I wonder if anyone knows, are these oranges edible? Because I picked some off some trees and they were super sour, like a kumquat or something. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to be eating it. Uh, it seems pretty solid. All right, let's see if we can get in here. All right, looks good. Wow, look in here. We're aboard. A little bit, a little bit wet. Wow, look at this. It's like being in the Titanic, but way more lame. Let's see what controls we have here. Navigation, instruments. Oh, a meal. I'll have a meal. Ooh. Guess we're having no meal today. Full throttle. Wow. Look at all this glass. See what's in here. Oh. Oh, look down there. You can see like a bar or something. I don't know if you can see. Behind here. Oh, not much going on. It absolutely stinks in here. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been in the water, but whew, bloody hell. Oh, there's fish in here. Look, look at these little fish. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, there's a huge spider there. Okay, let's leave him alone. Wow. It's amazing. I don't think I've been on a sinking boat before. It's pretty cool. Wow, look at this. Mm. Amazing. Well, this would be a good diving spot down here. You can uh, get into your gear and uh, it'll be like cave diving if anyone's seen those cave diving videos. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know about that. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on our journey and see what else we can find. Oh, look at that. There's even a phone. Look how old that phone is. So what I've noticed is, um, especially around here anyway, down the south of the city, is um, the, the key features, like the court and the net seem otherwise okay, but it seems like all the seats are just totally decomposed in the sun. There's like nothing left. Um, it seems like the facilities, like changing room seats, uh, there's a gazebo over there with a roof like this. Uh, there's no maintenance at all, but as far as like the court goes, the nets, uh, you can actually play a game. It's just hard to sort of get changed afterwards or uh, support your friends playing or whatnot. 
So right now we're not too far from the Taekwondo Stadium, it's just through there. And um, what you see a lot of at the moment anyway is just piles of rubble of what was here before. So it looks like over the last 10 years anyway, a lot has been done to try and uh, at least take down and renovate some of these sites. Well, as best as possible anyway. So... Who knows how long the rubble has been here, I don't, but if you look over here, you just see absolutely piles and piles of it. But it's not just this area, it seems to be a lot of places around the city. Um, for example, if you just look at the satellite view, um, you can see there's so much construction going on. Uh, when that started and when it's going to finish, I have no idea, but I've seen... Um, in various piles of rubble anyway, lots of uh, tiles and uh, things that look like they're from some sort of swimming pool in this pile anyway, but yeah, who knows. That looks like vegetable oil drums, I'm not sure they were originally here, but yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? So we're at one of the most iconic places you see. There's lots of news articles over the last three year, few years mentioning this stadium right here. And it's pretty much sealed off. There's a government building right next to me. It seems like the only way down is to get on this bridge and scale this rope. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to have a butcher, see if we can get inside and see what's going on. But yeah, we're in the middle of a construction site right now. So um, it's quite hard to get here. <laughs> so let's go. Oh boy. It didn't look so high from up there. It's going to be interesting getting back up. Wow. So here we go. Look. Office chairs. <laughs> so I think the video is already off to a bad start. I see a cars in here. I see what sounds like a generator or something going on in there. So I'm not sure how much. We're gonna be able to explore explore this building. Um, but I do have a few uh, plans up my sleeve for other places. So it's not just this place, there's a few down there. And we're gonna to go to the north of the city as well, to the Olympic Park and see what state that is in now. Who knows, maybe everything's great and this video is pointless, but we're gonna check it out. So there's one of the stadiums right there. Uh, it looks absolutely huge when you're up close. But yeah, they're definitely running the generators there. You can hear them. So I'm not sure who's going to be in here. Okay. We're going to make a break for it together. It's stupid because I saw someone there like two seconds ago. So... My chances, uh, I don't fancy my chances, put it that way. I mean, technically there's no signs here. Look at this, uh, oh, maybe the floodlight's supposed to be bent like that, I'm not really sure. So you can see a way in here. I think we can at least have a little peek. We're hiding right now, scoping out the scene, seeing what we can find. I don't see anyone right now, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna progress slowly. Let's see what we can find. Oh, it's absolutely amazing, isn't it? It's huge. I'm gonna go under the bleachers and. Uh,
It's full of chairs. <laughs> Oh, come on. Really? Crazy, isn't it? Looks like someone's just stuffed a load of office tables and chairs in here. Bird. Okay, let's see what else we can find. See if we can get into the stadium. That might be fun. Ooh, what are these rooms? Little desk in there, look. Some Olympic official. Jotting down some notes when he goes, has his toilet breaks in there. Wow. This one's absolutely taken everything out of here. <laughs> That's the stairwell. Wow. So I'm not sure if this is for volleyball, I don't remember, but I think it was a stadium built for the Olympics. Let's uh, see if we can get out here. Look at this. Let's get up to the bleachers here. Right, where's my seat? 35. Here we go. Wow. So imagine sitting here. Must be beach volleyball, right? They still have all the sand. There's the umpire's chair right there. Zoom in on that. Look at that. Doing his little uh, officiating. I think that's a word. Oh. There's a homeless guy right there. Hanging out together. Imagine sitting here, watching the Olympics 20 years ago. I wonder if we can find something on the TV. So we can compare this video against that one. That would be great. Yeah, look at that. Look at him there. What's he doing? Maybe he's living here. Oh, I don't want to bump into him in a dark room. Maybe he's fine. Not bad, is it? It's not bad. Alright, let's continue. See what else we can find here. See if we can go to the top, that might be fun. Uh oh, maybe that's a stupid idea. That's a stupid idea. Let's go near the top. <laughs> So imagine right here is where all the commentary was, all the tables, all the judges were sitting there. They were working out who fouled, who won. I don't like the look of that saggy floor though. Yeah, look at that. All the power points for the computers here. Amazing, isn't it? I mean, structurally, it looks great. It's just a shame. Um, Maybe Athens isn't good for beach volleyball, whatever it is. The soggy floor looks bad. I don't know, um, does anyone play beach volleyball in the comments below? Let me know. But it just seems such a shame to have this huge stadium. It's really nice as well, but just left into total disrepair. Super sad. I think my friend has spotted me. Maybe I should wave at him. Yeah, let's wave at him together. Hello, friend. Okay, he's still sitting down. Oh, the pigeons. Wow, all right. So I think we're gonna have another little look downstairs and then we're gonna move on to the next location, but 
you can see right here this stadium has been here what we are now 20 years it probably got built a few years before the olympics so yeah super sad really i hope it at least gets restored or replaced but i don't know as, as someone that really likes the olympics it's just yeah really sad to see this but again you see it in other cities as well you know it's not just athens take rio for example right the tour resumes I'm gonna follow our friend's movements. He looks a little suspicious. Look at that. Wow. You know, for saying Greece gets uh, some high temperatures, the chairs have held up pretty well. This is what the view looks like. Yeah, totally overgrown. Look at that. The trees are slowly invading the, the parking there. There's actually a beach volleyball court there that looks good, like it's actually used still. Oh. I was going to say, I wonder if people break in here and use this one, but it's full of chairs and old fires, so probably not. But oh, It looks like someone's been on there and totally, <laughs> totally lifted the roof up. Wow, absolutely crazy. Oh, look at that view there. Wow. So there is uh, the bottom of Athens there. I can't, I can't remember the name of the town though, but you can take the green line all the way down. Oh, there's someone there, shit. Oh, look, there he is, look. I think if I move, he'll see me. So I'm just going to stay still. Yeah, if I move. Maybe he won't see me. Oh, it's super obvious. Go, 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 don't look, don't look. Don't look, don't care about me. I'm just a little orphan. They will assume you didn't spot me. Yes, yeah, so can someone please help me explain? You have this huge stadium here, then right here you have volleyball, 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 with floodlights. Everything you need to play. But the main stadium, campfire, abandoned stuff, and random guy that keeps staring at me. It's a mystery. I'm so confused. All right, let's continue our tour. I'm gonna be a bit more wary now because I think people are living in here, which I don't mind, but I don't really want to invade in their space too much. So it looks like this side is a mirror image of the other side. Look at that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, be careful. Packages of perfectly fine shelving that's gone to absolute, absolute shit. Maybe it's hard to reshell, uh, reshell, <laughs> resell packets of uh, shelving. Who knows? Yeah, look at that. Coca-Cola, 500 mil, two euros. I don't know if you can see that, let's see. Oh, look at this shit. Look at all these Athens programs. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, here's an idea. Leave a comment below. No, actually. Contact me with your name and address. I'll send you an Athens program. <laughs> I'll get a few of them now. Cover the shipping. 
I'll send you one. What's up there? Oh, there's fucking hornets in... What? Is that a hornet? It's massive. Probably looks small from here, but it does look big. Yeah, the price is looking 2004. Look at this. Wow. Let's go in that hole. How many programs do you need in a beach volleyball stadium? Oh, hello. That's just another room of tables and things here. Wow. Seem to be at the same place again. All right, let's go downstairs here. Has anyone played Clock Tower on the um, PlayStation? There's a guy with scissors that chases you around, but you have no idea where he is. So you open a random door and he's there with his scissors and you're like, oh fuck. That's how I feel about our friend here. Yeah. Alright. Let's, uh, let's look at the center court then we'll get out of here. I always do the most exposed bits last. Then if someone kicks you out, it doesn't matter, you're leaving anyway. You know? All right. Crazy. The sand is super soft, like super fine. It's probably like an Olympic standard of sand or something. I honestly have no idea, but here's the umpire's chair. You can still kind of climb it now. What do umpire's chairs go for on eBay? Wow, amazing isn't it really, um, no more words I guess, but yeah, here's, here's one of the stadiums, the beach volleyball stadiums, and if this is one, oh, how many more are they, they, <laughs> how many more are there, I can't speak today, I got like two hours of sleep, I'm sorry if I'm making no sense, but you get the idea, but we're going to find out later in the video, see what else we can find. Wow, looks like this one's been left to, uh, left to die. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, as soon as I moved, the guy was sitting there the whole time. As soon as I went inside, he went inside on the other side. I didn't bump into him, but, um... I knew something was up. Uh, one time I went to Mexico and Sonada on a cruise, and I got bored, so I went hiking in the mountains. And the cruise people said, oh, watch out for people here. And I'm thinking, you know, stereotype. I went around the corner, the first corner on the mountain, and a guy appeared with two machetes. And yeah, it just uh, brought back those memories. <laughs> but if you want an Athens program, uh, drop me your name address, cover the shipping, I'll send you one. They look pretty cool. And there's no way you can get these in brand new condition anymore. Okay. So remember when I said the beach volleyball courts here are good? Well, that one looks great, right? Um, but then you come over here, and it's, it's a little bit of a different story. I, I think... Uh, <laughs> I mean, they're the floodlights, right? Shining down on the courts, and... Well, here's the court. <laughs> Look at this. Uh... So it looks like maybe one or two are maintained, but uh, certainly not all of them. But um, the stadium, definitely not. I think we know that for sure now. Yeah. No beach volleyball in Athens, apparently. Wow, unbelievable. All right, let's go. I 
I just kind of found this building on the way. Uh, it looked like it had the Olympic rings, so we'll see what it's saying. No idea what it was for. But I imagine there was a lot of offices. Uh, but yeah, it just looks like another... Wow, it looks quite nice inside, to be honest. But yeah, just another disused building. Wow, all right, let's keep going. So I decided to follow the uh, harbor along a little bit and I came to the Taekwondo Stadium, I think it is. It's still listed on Google Maps. I, I assume it's in business, I don't know, but um, I see some cars in there anyway. But coming around the back here, there's uh, beer bottles. The uh, porch for the door is collapsed and the fence is boarded up as well. And a lot, a lot of the lights, uh, the spotlights for the parking are missing and kind of bent over. So I don't even know if this is in use. Uh, let me show you what I mean here. So um, yeah, if we come to the door here, you can kind of see the, um, there's a lot of crap there. The porch is collapsed. There's a lot of junk on the right hand side there too. And you see the lights are kind of like that and, and missing. And the, there's no way in either, at least not around here. It's all kind of boarded up. So maybe we can check the front entrance and see, because there are cars in there, but it looks like a ghost town, absolutely deserted. And I heard the same thing about the Olympic Village too, which we'll check out in um, later in the video as well. But yeah, yeah, it seems absolutely dead. So to me, it looks like no one's here really, just a few cars. I don't know what's going on here. They probably use it as a music venue or a concert or something. But yeah, the stairs are super rusted and there's some panels missing. Um, other things as well, but I imagine it's just been repurposed. It might be one of those things where it looks a bit rough on the outside, but it's nice in the middle. You tend to see that a lot. So. Um, I can't imagine something that big and that expensive going to waste, but uh, I don't know, we've seen more surprising things, I guess, in other places. So. All right, let's continue. Here we are at the Olympic Village, at the north of the city. What once was here was stadiums for tennis, basketball, velodrome for cycling, lots of things. And, um, wow. Since the Olympics, uh, not much money has gone back into these facilities. Um, I think the swimming pool isn't too bad now. <laughs> but um, looking at a lot of the reviews on Google since the Olympics, you can see um, a, the, a lot of the locals complaining about the government not putting any funds into any of the stadiums. Uh, people are saying the tennis courts have potholes in them. And it's a real big shame uh, to let something go to waste and abandoned. But we're going to have a look around the um, Olympic area here, see what we can find. Uh, looking at the satellite view of the main stadium where the athletics were, you can see a lot of the sand and soil over the athletics track and lots of uh, diggers uh, tracks going around the dirt and stuff. So I'm not really sure what to expect, but... Uh, yeah, this is what we have here. So you can see, uh, wow. It feels abandoned, but yeah, I'm not sure if it is, but there's a, a lot of graffiti everywhere. But uh, yeah, I'll resume when we um, perhaps get inside and see something. But uh, even these kind of arches here, they're kind of, you know, left to rust. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but uh, a lot of the paint here is all rusted off. It, it, yeah, it's a real shame, really. But Wow. So if, if anyone was here in 2004, comment below. Uh, let me know what it was like. Uh, but it was absolutely amazing, right? Um, wow. Yeah, a lot of trash in there, water bottles, glass bottles. Oh, missing tiles, graffiti, 
aerosols, wow. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, a lot of this is missing, all the tiles off here. Well, yeah, one other thing I noticed as well, people are saying the changing rooms here smell of pee-pee and people went toilet in there as well. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. All right, I'll resume the video when we get inside, see if we can find something. Oh, it's so sad. So there's where we were earlier, just under that kind of rusted tunnel back there. But um, yeah, it seems weird. There's just endless spots of overgrown parking for hundreds of meters. I don't know, it's, it's super weird. But just based on a lot of the growth from the plants and everything, it just looks like no one uses this anymore. It kind of looks like there's abandoned uh, council estates in the UK. Um, you know, kind of like when it's all overgrown just because no one or anything really uses the grounds anymore. Wow. Let's see what. Let's see if we can get inside some of these buildings. I'll see what's going on there. The stadium, to be honest, looks quite nice from the outside, like it's still being used. Well, it looks like this is the velodrome here, the uh, home of indoor cycling. The uh, the water doesn't look too great outside, but. Um, Let's see if it's open, see if we can peek in the window, see what's going on here. It's like the apocalypse, isn't it? To be honest, inside the velodrome here, it looks pretty good. Like, it's well maintained. There's even some cyclists there. I'm not sure how they got in, but... Yeah, to be honest, it looks great. So it's one of those things where it looks a bit dilapidated and run down on the outside, but some of the key stadiums are actually not too bad inside. For example, this aquatic center here. Yeah, it looks really nice. The water's blue. You got the Olympic flags flying. Wow, it doesn't look too bad really. Maybe enough people complained, I don't know. But um, yeah, it certainly doesn't look too bad though, does it? Yeah, people don't have nice things to say about the changing rooms. I can't really get in there, but um, yeah, the pools look great. People are swimming right now. It's not too bad. Let's see what else we can find. Thank you, thank you. So one thing I don't understand is, where is everyone? We tried to get into the velodrome, but it was all locked. It was kind of like exclusive, private only. Same with the swimming pool as well. There's like one guy swimming, but there's no way in. All the gates are locked, padlocked shut. So who is, who is swimming here? Who's cycling here? You know, how does like the average person do something here? I'm not really sure how they get the money in, to be honest, but... Yeah, we haven't really found any anywhere to go in, anything to do, and there's no one here. Which is weird, because it's such a nice day today too. a ghost town. So we're gonna go up to the other end now where they have tennis courts apparently and maybe they're open I don't know. Now look at all these huge spaces of land just kind of grown over now and uh, 
pretty much all the lights are broken on these little squares as well. Uh, yeah, it's a real, real shame uh, how you can invest, you know, billions and just let it go to, you know, in such a state of disrepair. It's un unbelievable. I mean, we've we've seen it in a few countries. I think the most surprising one was uh, Rio. They had the uh, Rio Olympics and pretty much all the stadiums went to crap in like two years or something. It was absolutely insane. And then you start kind of looking um, at the other countries as well, I, I suppose. But uh, I mean, we saw it in Sarajevo, uh, the Winter Olympics. They have an abandoned kind of bobsleigh track and various other things. Um, Athens. I, to be honest, I can't think of many countries that have actually profited off the Olympics in recent years. Uh, at least not a substantial uh, profit uh, uh, from hosting it anyway. Wow. That's absolutely unbelievable. There's a fair amount of runners, you know. A lot of people running around here, but I just can't see anything open for anyone to use. All the doors are closed. All the lights are dark. And if you do see inside, there might be one swimmer or one cyclist that obviously has a key uh, to get in. It's, a, it's weird. Here's the Olympic Stadium right here. Again, closed. Not sure how to get in. Uh, sunny day, no one here. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> yeah, kind of random. I don't understand. That one definitely looks abandoned though, but then again, maybe the inside is nice too. But yeah, I just don't know where the people are coming from. We're gonna have a look around here. Um, then that's pretty much the last corner. I think that's where the uh, tennis was, right in front of us there. So we're just coming around to the northeastern side now. They have like Garmin shops here and apartments there. To be honest, this little area here looks really nice. They got a little gym. Things look a lot newer. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Um, uh, maybe some of you guys live here. Is it the case where so many people were complaining maybe? Because I remember a few years ago um, uh, The facilities didn't look too great at all and a lot of my friends told me the same thing uh, Did people just complain enough and they're finally doing some maintenance or something like that? Uh, to be honest, I have no idea, but it looked a little worse for wear over there But this side this side doesn't look too bad to be honest, so you know, maybe things are getting done. Uh, yeah, maybe the maintenance is, is going there, but some of the places certainly did look very abandoned not too long ago. So we've found the tennis courts. Uh, there's at least 15 here. But to be honest, they look great. At least now, anyway. Maybe a few years ago, not so, but to be honest, people playing. Again, I have no idea how to get in here, how to play. There's no one here, but I mean, it looks okay. Wow.